वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स सो टिल नाउ वी हैव क्रिएटेड ऑथेंटिकेशन सिस्टम एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस होम यू आई एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड सम टेस्ट डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड टेस्ट कलेक्शन सो यू कैन सी इट हीयर सो दिस विल बी अवर लाइक स्कीमा हीयर सो सेम थिंग वी हैव क्रिएटेड सो वट वी विल डू टू दे सो टूडे वी विल क्रिएट अ फोल्डर so we will create a folder and then in the next video we will create a file and then after that we will show created files and created folders and then we will go for the uploading state so here what it will like so this one is original one so here when the user will click on create folder so this model should pop up so we want this first so like whenever user will write new folder so as you can see we are under the root folder so here we have the root folder new folder so when i will click on add folder so it will give us the error like this is already present so how this is checking so this is checking everything from the redux so in the redux we will create the state another states so we will create the reducer for file and folders so there is loading will be false by default as we are not fetching the files and folders from the firebase so that's why we are not going to uh, add anything means in the redux and everything will be empty for now so user folders so this will be also be empty and user files so everything will be empty here and whenever uh, the in the next video we will whenever we are going to fetch the files and folders from the firebase then we are going to add that data to the redux and then automatically uh, we are going to get this one so uh, here what we will do today so today we will create this react state and we will create the folder so only we will uh, create the folder and then when our user will create the folder we will push that data to the firebase as well as we will push that data to the redux so just Uh, just to see if it is actually working or not so that will be just for a temporary purpose so now without wasting any time uh, let's get into it let's start creating a folder functionality here so here we are under the coding section here and you can see that our server is up and running so let's first of all go to the source folder so here let's go to the redux so first of all we are going to create new reducer here so that will be for the file folder reducer so file folders reducer so it will be file folders reducer dot js so here first of all there will be an initial state so initial state will be there so what will be in the initial state so here so let's go to here and this one is the original one so here what will be the initial state so it will be first of all is loading will be there and then folder so what folder under what folder we are and then user folder user files admin folders and admin files so these will be by default empty so here we will write is log loading so by default is loading will be false and then folder so what is the selected folder so let it be selected folder so selected or let it be current folder current folder is there and then there will be user folders and then there will be user files admin folders and then there will be admin files so this will be our state so let's create the reducer here so that is file folders reducer and here we have the state initial state and here let's add switch statement so we will be having the switch statement that is action type and here default let it be so default we will just run a state and here export default our file folder reducer so now let's go to the store.js and here we will 
add new reducer so that will be file folders reducer and here we will write file folders file folders and here we will be having the file folder reducer in the combined reducers so here what we can do so here we can create one more constant for root reducer and we can copy this so just cut this and paste this in the another variable and here what we can do so here we can write here as a root reducer or one more thing we can do so we can create a new file so that will be index.js and under this file we will be having the root reducer so here I'm going to copy cut all this so cut this and here I'm going to paste this here we will export the root reducer as default and then we will import the combined reducers from the redux and here we will be having the reducers and now we will go to the store and here we will remove the combined reducers and let's import the root reducer from the reducers file so here just save this so this will uh, do the same work now if we will go to the dashboard and we will check here so here you will get the file folders as well so by default we don't have any user folders user files and admin folders so now uh, we have created the reducer here so now uh, let's first of all uh, create the UI for the create folder so we will create the UI and after that uh, we are going to add the functionality with the help of reducers with the help of redux so let's do that so here what I'm going to do here so let's create a component here so here I'm going to the dashboard components and here I'm going to create a component so that is create folder dot create folder and here we will be having the file that is create folder dot jsx and here let it be rafce and here we will be having one model here so I have already created the code so here what will be this so we have the class name uh, that is columnd12 so it will create a large means background is there black background and then we have the position fixed so uh, top from left 0 means it will uh, come in the full screen and we have this background light gray and it will be having the transparency as a 40% and then here we have created the model type of thing we have created create folder so here we have the icon button because we need this icon clickable so this is a cross icon and this one is for the header so this is the header and then we have this form here in this we have the input and as well as we have the button of create folder so here the type will be submit so type will be submit here just save this so now uh, here we not need any state so just remove this so now what we are going to do here so let's go to the sub bar here and in the sub bar we are going to create first of all state uh, so uh, let's not create a state under the sub bar so we will create the state in the pages so that will be for the dashboard page so we will create a state in the dashboard page so let's create a state here so here we will create a state is create folder model open and set is create folder model open and here we will import the use state so let's import the use state I have imported the use state successfully so here we are going to pass this to the sub bar so we are going to pass this to the sub bar is create folder model open model open so we are going to pass this is and same set is so this one we are going to pass here copy this just save this here so let's go to the sub bar so here we are going to import this so is this there and here we have set is so set is 
and here whenever the we have this one create folder here so whenever user we click here so here we will write is on click so on click we are going to write add this set is folder is create folder model open so that will be true always just save this so here we need don't need this is create model for uh, mod, folder model open and here I'm going to also remove this from here so we have done this successfully so here uh, we will be having the tar, uh, condition here so that condition will be is create so if this model is opened then we are going to open this one so that is uh, we are going to write create folder and here we are going to pass few things so that will be uh, set is create model for uh, folder model open so this state just we are going to pass here and see that by default it is false so you can see that it is not opening it is not opening so whenever I will click on create folder so we have some errors so let's see what are those errors so font or some icon is not defined so we have that error so we have to import this font or some as well so let's import this so here we have the font or some icon uh, so let's import this import font or some icon from react font or some and then we are going to import this FA times as well. Just save this and same we have done this like in the sub bar. So here we should not have any errors when we will click on create folders. So this should be visible. Click on create folder. So it should be true. so let's go to the dashboard page so here I am just json dot stringify is create folder model open so just I'm going to test this so you can see that it is having a true here so it is having a true so if I will remove the fade from here so now you can see that we have this one so we have this one but it is not having the correct z index so let add the z index to be 9999 like this so now you can see uh, see that it is good but this close close button is not looking good so for that what we are going to do here so here we have passed here so you can see that in the dashboard we have passed this one set is create folder model open this state we have passed here so we are going to extract this state from here and now we have this button let's apply the on click event so on click we are going to make this as false so just click on this so we have this one false like this so this is now great work so here let's go to the sub bar so here we have mx2 at last ms2 should be here and margin and to 5 yes and here let me add overflow hidden Uh, still navigation bar is not fixed so just forgot about that so here we have this type of thing here so this is uh, looking very great so this is looking very great so now let's add the functionality here uh, to create a folder so first of all we will handle the form and then we will create the action creator and action types and then we will move forward uh, to add that data to the firebase so let's first of all handle the form here 
So here we don't need any subbar and we don't need any dashboard page. So I'm going to close that. So here we uh, need just a create folder. So here what I'm going to do here. Here I'm going to create a state here. So first of all that will be a state for file name. So we have the file name state. Uh, so it will be file name and set file name. By default it will be a string. So here let's go to the input and let's add the cons value as file name and here on change we will be having the file name value. And here what we are going to do here. So uh, let me check if we have added reactostify here. So we have not added reactostify. So we will not add for now as well. So uh, we will add this reactostify later to make this application uh, alerts more better. So here we will be creating one handle submit function. And first of all, we will prevent it by default. So here what I'm going to do here. So just I'm going to alert the file name. So alert the file name. And here let's go to the form. On click, we will just handle submit. Uh, on submit will be there. Just save this. So we have the handle submit. Just click on create folder. So here we have some errors here. So on submit we have handle submit. So let's see what are those errors. So we have the errors use state is not defined. So actually we haven't imported the use state. So let's import the use state. So I always forgot to import the use state first. So now we have the use state. Click on create folder. So here whenever you click on create folder. So you can see that there nothing is there. So we have to add the validation. So like we have new folder, just click on create folder. So we have a new folder here. Now uh, let's see. So if we will write here, if we will add the condition here, if file name, so file name, first of all, we will check if file name is there or not. So if file name is not equals to equals to null, or we can say that if file name is there, so what we are going to do here. So here uh, we are going to just check what is the length of the file. So here I'm going to check if what is happening here. So here will be if. Yeah, if file name dot length. So if file name dot length is greater than three, so it should be greater than three. So if file uh, name length is greater than three, then we are going to alert that folder name, folder created, and plus we are going to add the file name, folder name, folder name. So here will be actually folder name. folder name and here will be folder name folder name is there folder name folder name is there as well as here we will be having the set folder name and folder name so folder created and we will be having the folder name else we are going to alert folder name must be at least three characters and otherwise if file name is not folder name is not present then here I'm going to write folder name cannot be empty here so you can see that when I click here, folder name cannot be empty. So here let's write the folder name like H. So folder name must be of at least three characters that we are going to write. Hello. Then create folder. So you can see that we have the alert that is folder created. Hello. So this means that this is working successfully. And now let's move forward here. So here what we are going to do. So first of all, you can see that 
in the redux we have this thing here that is file folders we have and here we have user folders so first of all we have to check that if this folder is already present if this created folder is already present or not admin uh, folders are different so that uh, that are different so that can be of anything but users folder should be not of the same name so that we have to do so here but we are going to select here so first of all let's here first of all uh, we will check so we will check here so let's create a function so we will create a function check folder already present so already present so here uh, we will be having the folder name folder name will be there so here that will be name will be there only and then here first of all we have to get the data from the uh, first of all we have to uh, get the data from the redux here so for that what i'm going to do so here uh, we are going to add like user folders so we will be having the use uh, we are going to use use selector as i'm going to use the destruction operator here so here we are going to use here one more thing so that will be so first of all here we have the return so we have to return something and here we are going to use uh, let me see so first of all let's import the use selector so use selector is imported so here will be the shallow equal that we have to use so so this shallow equal is there so sh if you don't know about shallow equal then you can watch my uh, series of redux so i'm not going to explain about this or you can watch to the in the internet so we have the user folders here so that will be from the state dot file folders file folders dot user folders so now we have access to all the users folder here so here first of all we will check if this folder is already present or not so here we are going to write folder present user folders or find so we are going to check if folder dot name is equals to equals to name so if the folder name is same as this name so this means that this folder is present here so i'm going to copy this so here we are going to write if this folder is already present then here we are going to write like this folder created else if this folder is present already so first of all it is not present so if it is present then we are going to write folder already present so we have done this successfully so now let's create the action creators and action types for this one so that we can uh, add this to the redux we can create folder as well as we can create the folder in the firebase so here for that uh, let's go to the redux and here we are going to create new action creator so that will be file folders action creator dot js and here we are going to create the action type so that will be file folders action types dot js so here first of all what we are going to do here so as we are uh, using it for the create folder so we are going to add just one type for now so that will be uh, export const create folder and here we will be having the type as create folder so here let's import all the types import all as types from so here we have the we are going to one level up so one level up we have action types and under that we have file folder action types so here first of all let's create the actions so uh, first of all we have to create the action for the add folder so add folder we have to create so here will be uh, const add folder so this will handle the data to the redux 
So here we will having the folder data. So let it be payload. It will return us types. So first is type is there. So that will be a create folder. So types dot create folder. And then we will be having the payload as payload. And then here we have the action creators. So action creators is there. So here let's export that will be the create folder. So we have the create folder. So here uh, we have the data. So that will be having the data. And then we have the dispatch here. So here just console this data. Console.log data here. So just console.log the data. And now let's go to the, let's go here to the file folder reducer. And here we are going to create this state. So that is for the create folder. So types. So here let's import the types first. Import all as types from we have the action types and file folder type section. So let's add the type. So that is for the create folder. And here we are going to return the state. So we are going to return the state and we will be having the user folders as we are adding the new folder. So this is the array. So first of all, we will iterate from all the folders and then we are going to add the folder. Just save this. And we have saved this. Now here instead of data, let it be a folder name, folder name, because uh, if we have the folder name, uh, so let it be data only. So let it be data. Just save this. Just we are going to console log the data here. So this our this one is working here. So now uh, here what we are going to do that. So here we are going to create the data first. So let's create the data. So here we have the data here. So first of all, uh, we are going to handle the folders under the current app only. So uh, means under the root folder. So under the root folder only we are going to handle the these folders. So here uh, you can see that. So let's go to the dashboard. And here uh, whenever user will create a folder. So when I will go here. So in the document what we have done. So we have the folders collection. And that we have the test name folder. So test name is their ID. And here you can see that we need created at created by last assessed and after that we need name parent so parent will be the current folder so current folder will be the parent so first of all we have to get the current folder so we have to get the current folder so if current folder is root then path is something so if current folder is not root so then we are going to get the current folder so we have to get the current folder so first of all, let's no, uh, not go for the complex thing. So let's create the folders on the root only. So whenever we are going to get all the folders, then we are going to create the folders under the subfolder as well. So we are going to optimize it more. So that we are going to do in the further video step by step. So first of all, let's create all the folders in the root only. So here, what we are going to do here, so here we are going to create the data. So that is created at. So we will be having the created at. So it will be having the new date. And then folder is there. So uh, here uh, user ID. So we need the user ID as well. So user ID as well we need. So here we have created at, created by. Created by is there, user ID is there. So name is the folder name. So let's import the user ID as well. So here we have user, user. So here we will get the data for the user. So that is state dot auth. So we will be having the state dot auth only. So you can see that when I'm going here to the Redux. So here in the auth we have is authenticated and then we have user here. So we need the user only. So let's write the user state dot auth dot user 
and here will be the user id so user id will be user dot uid and then we need created by so created by will be user dot display name and after that we will be having the path so by default uh, the path will be in the array so uh, we will check if current path is root so for that we have to get the current path so current path from the redux so here is the current path is state dot file folders dot current folder so it will be the current folder current folder you can see here when we are going to file folders so here we have this one that is current folder so by default the current folder is null so this means that we are under the root so if we are under the root this means that root is our current folder so let me uh, do one thing here so here uh, first of all let me add the path if current folder so if current folder is equals to equals to root so if current folder is root here then we will be having the nothing in path otherwise we will be having the path as a current folder so we will be having the path as a current folder so that we are going to decide it later so till now here we are going to write parent folder path so just parent folder path i'm going to write here so there will be nothing for now so for now there will be nothing so here uh, then we have name we did user id we did and parent we have to write so that is parent so by default the parent will be the current folder so current folder will be the parent and then next and created at last assessed is there and then updated at is there so last assessed so by default uh, is spelling right yeah spellings are right so by default the last assessed will be null and here last modified a bit on it so that will be updated at so updated at will be new date so by default it will be new date so this is our whole data and one thing i'm going to uh, do in the file folder reducer so here the current folder will be, uh, folder will be root by default so current folder will be root by default here so now you can see the changes so we have the current folder so that is root so now go to the dashboard and here let's try to create a folder here uh, so first of all console log the data so let's console log this data here just save this so i'm opening the console and here let's write new folder let's click on create folder now you can see that we have this data that is created at created by last assessed is null name parent path updated at and user id so everything is very perfect so everything is perfect here so now what we are going to do so we are going to pass this data to the we are going to pass this data to the action creator so for that we are going to use dispatch so let's create dispatch here dispatch using use dispatch so we have imported use dispatch here so use dispatch and here let's dispatch so we will dispatch the create folder function and we will pass the data in that so we have imported the create folder function just save this so here uh, let's add any folder name so that is new folder click on create folder so now you can see that this console is from the file folders action creator so this means that our action creator is working now the only thing is to add this to the 
Firebase and as well as add this to the Redux. So in the Firebase, we will create a new document and we will uh, go to the this one. We will create a new document and then we will add this to the Redux. So let's do. So here uh, we don't need anything here. So just uh, we need the action creator. So just uh, close everything. So here uh, what we are going to do. So first of all, we have to go to the config. Uh, in the firebase.js so here uh, we have to import the firestore as well so because now we are going to use firestore so that's why we have to import the firestore so that we can enable it in the fire variable so let's close this and here we are going to import the firestore so let's first of all uh, add the fire so that is fire uh, first of all we are going to import it so import fire from that is dot dot slash and then again up so we have the config so under the config we have the fire so let's go to the config again it is exported as default now here we are going to use the fire store here so just save this first so we are save this so fire dot firestore dot collection so we will be having the collection here dot collection then we have the folders and then we are going to add the data here dot then so after that we will be having the uh, data so here we have folder so here we are going to dispatch the folder dot data. So we are just going to dispatch the folder. Just save this. So now let's test it. So here we have some errors that is cannot import fire. So here will be the fire base just save this so now let's go to the dashboard and let's go to the create folder so here let's create a folder as new folder just click on create folder now uh, here you can see that we have the new folder and that is the folder is created by test user and this is the id and we have the parent as root and name as new folder here so uh, this means that this is working successfully and just let add the alert so you can see that uh, in the redux as well we have the folder so we have this create folder and then in the users folder we have this folder here so you can see that uh, we have this folder but the data is not there so here what we are going to do here so here will be the folder data so folder data so folder data is there that is folder dot folder dot get so we are going to get the data and let's add it asynchronous await get dot data so we have the data then just save this and then we have the folder data here just save this so here we are going to alert folder created successfully and here what i'm going to do so i'm going to delete this folder so delete this delete document start delete and let's reload this and let's create a new folder so let's go to the dashboard let's create a folder so that will be the new folder and click on create folder so here uh, let's go here so you can see that folder created successfully so let's see we have the user folders and now you can see that we have the folder data that is created at also is the created by user id parent path is their last assessed name and updated at so everything we have 
as well as we have in the this document. So this means that create folder is working successfully. Now in the next video, uh, we will get all the folders and we will do the rest of things. Like uh, in the subfolder, we have to create the folder. So in the folder, we have to create a subfolder. So that type of thing we will do after getting all the folders. So for today, this is enough. If you have any queries, please comment in comment section. I will definitely respond to that. At last, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.